Anchors up, sells it full. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing right, Jared. Doing all right. How are you doing today? I might be drinking. What you drinking? Than... Oh, okay. That's less. That's less depressing than what I was gonna say. Um, this is a tracksuit Santa. It's a spice holiday ale by the Columbus Brewing Company. Um, hey guys, uh, sponsor us, Columbus Brewing Company. I mean, you wouldn't be our you wouldn't be our our first beer sponsor, but you would be our favorite. Uh, what are we even recording? Life is pain. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, that's that's totally fair. Uh, well, we're still doing the slip picks. Um, this is, and, I, and actually, thank you, Austin, for bringing that up. We're releasing the slip picks on a Thursday. There won't be a Friday episode. Um, so that's that. We're just we're just doing one on the back half of the week this week because, quite frankly, at this point in the season, Jared gets tired. Putting out four episodes a week. Jared gets tired. Kyle's like, hey, are we doing one or two tonight? I was like, one. I love college football. Uh, I love doing the podcast. But at this point in the year. Jared gets tired. <laughs> All right, well, let's let's get right into it here. We are here. Um just going to change this title real quick here. Oh, did I not update the notes to your liking, there Kyle? The nights, is, the, the notes that no one except you and I see. Yeah, it, it is conference championship week here. So let's go ahead and start it off with uh, Jared and I were talking about this first one here. Uh, Friday night, the Pac-12 championship game of Oregon and Washington. Uh, it was it was an interesting convo hit, because Kyle. Hit, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Before before I hit record, uh, I was talking to Jared. I'm like, here's the reason why the Pac-12 failed. And I said, no, it's not the reason why the Pac-12 failed. It was just an early indicator that it was going to fail. They 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 took the they 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 they, they, they took the passive role. They basically admitted the only way anyone's going to watch us is if we're the only game on. They didn't want to compete against the other conferences. They took the passive role. And like, especially considering it's a West Coast conference and like the reason Monday Night Football has to start so late is so the West Coasters can get home in time to watch it. Meanwhile, you're a West Coast conference and you're playing at eight o'clock on a weekday. They don't even have the time slot to themselves. I mean, they're, they're not against any of the other power conferences, though, I think is the point, because like yeah. if, if you if you if you look through it, the Big 12 plays at noon, SEC plays midday, and then the uh, Big 10 plays at night. And then, of course, the ACC also plays at night. But who cares that 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 conference is a dead man walking? Who cares what the ACC does? Uh, Kyle just showed me a, actually, if I scroll through here, yeah, there it is. And anyway, if you want to pause and take a look at that, go ahead. Uh, that's what the 12 team bracket would look like. And, this, and this there is, is only is, one ACC is, team in it. This is uh, every Big Ten, um, every fan of a Big Ten team dream here. Is having a, a member of the SEC come up north in December yeah. or November. Can you can you imagine Lane Kiffin and Ole Miss playing in the shoe in December? Who is the first Pac-10 yeah. champion? Do you mean like proper proven on the field champion? Or you, yes, um, I don't know the answer to that actually. I actually don't know the answer to that. Who won the first Pac-12 championship game? And it would have been a Pac-12 championship game, not a Pac-10 championship game. Since we're about oh. to see the last. Hey, man, you look forward to Washington State, Oregon State next year. Coming to you live from Las Vegas or something. 
So the Pac-12 started in 2011, and it was it was Oregon. Back in Who did Oregon beat? Uh, they beat. No, like back in the day, like Pac-10 OJ Simpson. I don't know. Well, okay. Oh no, that Spikes is, does. That Spikes not knows. That is not it. Spikes says that Washington, and it would have been the Pac-8 back then, right? I think. Yeah, yeah. No, it was it was 2011. 2000. No, 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 no. Uh, Suncard asked. Suncard. It was against UCLA. Suncard asked, like, yeah. no, like way back in the day. Uh, Spike says Washington in 1916, but I think that would have been the Pac-8. So technically not the first Pac-10 champion. So I think the question is, who is the first Pac-10 champion? Which is, uh, if we're getting real picky about it, and I'm going to uh, Washington was the first and will be the last disagree. And, and on that topic, uh, Friday night at eight o'clock, ABC. Uh, Oregon is taking on Washington in the Pac-12 championship game. The the very last uh, Pac-12 championship game uh, unless Oregon and or excuse me, Oregon State and Washington State want to have a mid off next year. Um, we have Oregon, we have Washington, uh, Kyle, Oregon, a nine and a half point favorite. It's a lot. It's a lot, especially, especially with Washington beating them early in the season. And, and yes, it was earlier in the season. Oregon has looked much better and Washington, maybe, maybe not as much here, but. Yeah, still nine and a half points seems like a lot. So I'll I'll pay I'll pick the Huskies. I'll pick the Huskies to cover here. And if you're if you're a Buckeye fan, if you're a Buckeye fan, you're rooting for the Huskies in this game. You are. Um that being said, I, I think Oregon destroying Washington is equally as good. So you either want Washington to win or you want Oregon to humiliate Washington. I think those those are the two outcomes you're looking for if you're an Ohio State fan. Uh, Ten points feels like a huge number, um, especially as Kyle pointed out, considering that Washington beat Oregon uh, just six weeks ago. Uh, that being said, Oregon's worst win since that loss. And when I say worst win, I mean by point spread or by point differential, rather. Um, was a nine-point victory over USC. They've been they've been clobbering teams. Is my point. Um, I think I'll take Washington to cover, but I I, I do still have the Ducks winning, which is uh, not a good outcome for Ohio State. For the record, that's that's not what you want. Huskies find ways to win when they're down. Adversity matters. I mean, you're not wrong. That being who's said, who's Oregon picker? literally lost the game, which is, you know, adversity. Sun card 19 is our guest picker. He's also down in the chat. Um, Sun card says, what does Vegas know that we don't? The game is literally being played in Vegas. Uh, how does the 12 and 0 team who beat the other team become a nine and a half point dog? Give me the guys with the W on their helmet to win and, and cover. That's I, I don't know why I said and cover surprisingly. If they win, they cover. <laughs> All right. Moving on to Saturday here. Saturday noon. The noon game, uh, two noon games. First. Talk talk about some action here, Jared. Talk talk about a maction. Oh, uh, it is the here. tis the season, Kyle. Everyone's favorite time of year, the one episode a year where we talk about Mac football championship sloop pick weekend. We're actually talking a little bit of maction. You've been waiting for it all year. 
You can start Christmas shopping starting tomorrow. This is this is this is it. This is this is the day everyone waits for. It's officially the holiday season. Kyle and Jared are picking a Mac game as we do every year at this time. Kyle, we have the Miami Red Hawks versus the Toledo Rockets. Uh, would it surprise you to know that the Miami Red Hawks are 10 and 2 and the Toledo Rockets are 11 and 1? I knew about Toledo being really good this year with one loss and that loss being the very first game against Illinois, which they barely lost, but yeah. did not know about Miami, uh, Miami doing pretty well as well. Uh, there are two losses is against Toledo uh, about mm -hmm. a month and a half ago. And then also the first game of their season where they uh, lost um, pretty badly to the other Miami team. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and yes, in the state of Ohio, Miami, Florida is the other Miami team. Um, as Kyle pointed out, the Red Hawks have been pretty good this year. But Kyle, I'm telling you right now, they've been money against the spread. They've only missed the spread three times this year. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, the Rockets, uh, uh, early in the season, the Rockets weren't doing great against the spread, but improved in the later half of the year. Uh, I think this is a close one. I do think Toledo wins, but Miami is going to cover. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. I I think so, too. They, I feel like these kind of games in action always comes down to the wire here. I'd be, I'd be really surprised if one team um, blows out the other one here. But yeah, this, yeah, this should be should be some fun. I'll I'll I agree with Jared here. Um, the Red Hawks to cover, but I think to, I think Toledo will ultimately win this game. All right, Kyle, how does Sun Card feel? Um, you tell me. It's at the bottom. It's oh, at the, bo oh, it's yeah, at the bottom yeah, of the notes. Very bottom. Ah, okay, I see now. Uh, two teams of Ohio. Have to drive to Detroit to play a freaking bowl game <laughs> based on travel and the battle of Toledo. I'm taking the Rockets to win and to cover. And Miami's not that far away from Detroit. But no, Sun Sun Card's right. Listen, next year we're doing Maction in Columbus. Jared, it's cold in Columbus. Well, guess what? We're switching to indoor football league rules. For this game only, we're playing it nationwide. Who's with me? <laughs> yeah. Somewhere there's a Big Ben. Hey, that's a that's a word I'm not going to say on YouTube. Um... <laughs> All right, moving on, Jared. We're going to move on to the other game at noon here. The uh, the uh, Big Twelve Big and yes, 12, 14, 8. It is the other game at noon. The other game. Uh, two orange teams going at it here, Texas and Oklahoma State. Texas. How can we call this the orange bowl? Nope, that, that's taken. Sorry. Uh, 13 and a half point favorite for the Longhorns in this game. Eight and a half punt. Seems like a lot. It seems like a lot. And especially. <clears throat> yeah, that, that, that's. I ultimately picked um, Oklahoma State to cover here. Like, I just I know Texas has been um, playing better recently, but and, and they and they need and they need style points. They need style points. This is this is like in two thousand. Stop reading my notes, Kyle. I'm I'm kidding. I'm I know you're not. not. I know. I'm notes. kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. This is like two thousand fourteen for Ohio State, where you had to get. Um style points in your championship game can te can texas beat oklahoma state 52 to nothing eh, maybe not but i think they'll need a blowout type of game to really impress the committee but i don't think it's going to happen uh, texas will win but, but oklahoma state will cover yes sir um fun fact since we're talking about orange did you know that originally the intent for Ohio State's school colors were going to be black and orange. I think I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. They, they never implemented the black and orange. 
but that was the original intent. And then at the last second, Sun Card says, like Princeton, that's why they didn't do it. They changed it at the last second because Princeton already had black and orange and they wanted to do something unique. So interesting little tidbit. Uh, Texas 500 against the spread this year. So no real help there. Look at OK State. Uh, they're like one. I think it was one game better. I didn't write it down. I think it was literally one game better. So like six and four against the spread this year. Right. Not a lot of help there. Um, I really like the Cowboys in the middle part of the season. Like they started off the season terribly. Lost a real nasty game. Then like they started to find themselves in the middle of the year. Then they kind of started to slope off. I think we're still in that slope off period, unfortunately. Um, yeah, Zach says depends on which OK State team shows up. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be October. I don't think it's going to be October Cowboys. Unfortunately, I think that that team was left in October. Um, and as Kyle pointed out. Yes. And as Kyle pointed out, uh, Texas finds themselves outside of the top four spots. They find themselves well outside the top four spots. They can't just win this game and get into the playoffs. They either need a lot of help or they need to look damn good beating the Cowboys. Can't just beat the Cowboys. Got to look good doing it. Uh, so I think there's going to be motivation to not just win, but win uh, by a lot of points. So give me Texas win and cover. So there's a chance for Texas. Yeah, there's Texas has a chance. I mean, they'll, they'll be conference champions. So, I mean, like, again, if you're an Ohio State fan, you, you're a Cowboy fan. Uh, on Saturday at noon, uh, you're a Cowboy fan and you're a Miami Red Hawk fan. Jared, why does the Mac game matter? Well, because one of them wears red and the other one wears blue and yellow. That's why. There's a lot of color analysis on this episode, Kyle. <laughs> All right, some card says, does Jim Knowles know a guy or two in Oklahoma that could pull a string or two? I, I I put the money on OK State to win, but that is purely out of my Buckeye fandom. In truth, Texas is a better team and will win. Maybe they will serve spiked kom kombucha in the locker room before the game. Texas wins and covers. It's a Quinn Ewers joke. Um, isn't... Toledo is South Ann Arbor. I've always, I've always heard Toledo is like South Detroit. Yeah. I mean, that that's the expression, but I think he was just tailoring it to the football podcast because that's what we're doing right here, Kyle. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. All right. Next game. Next game here. We have the AAC, the AAC, the AAC uh, championship yeah. game, SMU and Tulane. The superior A and C based conference, in my opinion. Real, do I actually feel that way? No. Yet. <laughs> Maybe. SMU uh, back? Tulane. No. Tulane is a three and a half point game in this matchup here. I really don't know. I, I really don't know. So I, I'm just going to. Who does? Kyle, you have, you're not up on your SMU lore? I'm not. Nope. <laughs> did you hear did you hear about what Craig James did? That's I mean, remember when Twitter was fun? <laughs> Kyle, do you remember when Twitter was fun? There's this glorious era of college football Twitter that I miss so much. Craig James was killing hookers. It was a good time. <laughs> Five of them. I, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to pick Tulane. For this one, I, I don't feel strongly one way or another. So I'm just going to pick Tulane to cover the three and a half points. Listen, it's only three and a half points. So I'm just going to I'm just going to pick the winner here. And if they don't, if it doesn't spread, it doesn't. You know, if I, if I don't get the points, I don't get the points. But I'm just going to I'm going to go ahead and pick the winner here. Look, Tulane is on the verge of an historical program changing victory or season you know they're they're one game away they win this game they go on to a new year's day bowl 
They can't lose it. This is program changing shit right here. You can't lose this game. You can't lose it. Um, so I don't think they will. High, highly motivated Tulane uh, wins this, and I'll say they win it by seven. What's the sun card say, Kyle? How does it turn out these bowl games that one team is basically a home team based on the key stats? SMU has a way better team. Time out. Time out. Sorry. Three and a half. Where, 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 where is this game played? Because I have no clue. <laughs> uh at Tulane. Oh, is it literally do they do do they not do a neutral site for the AAC? They do they do they by the way. Yeah, I think that's how the mayor yeah. Yeah, what Z Spike says. I think that's how the AAC works. He says that's how Spike said that's how the American works. I read it as that's how America works. Like I thought Spikes was really excited about the idea. <laughs> of the 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 number one seed hosting the game like i thought he was really like putting on his patriotic hat and be like that's how america works damn it and by the way for the record spikes the spikes that i'm talking to right now the spikes that wrote that's how america works to that spikes i say i agree <laughs> um based on the key stat smu has a Way better team, but it's somehow three and a half point dog. I'm going with Vegas on this one. Tulane wins and covers. I'm just saying, fuck neutral sites. And the other four o'clock game here is the uh, SEC championship game. Uh, Georgia and Alabama. Everyone watching this on YouTube, if you agree with the sentiment, fuck neutral site games. Go ahead and like this video. Thank you. Georgia is a five and a half point favorite in this matchup here against Alabama. I like to do a lot of analysis. I like to go down through the really? uh, the the over under stats. Now, does it does it does it produce good sloop picks in the end? No, it doesn't. But do I do it anyway? Yes, I do. I like to get all I like to get those stats. I like to uh, against the spread stats over under stats uh, on the road at home stats. Although this is a neutral site, um, <sighs> neutral sites. Um, but listen, I didn't get into any of that on this. I got into none of that on this. I have a philosophy. I am getting an opportunity here. How often do you get the opportunity? to pick Alabama, to pick Nick Saban's Alabama and get points for doing it. I get to pick on, pick on, I get to bet on Nick Saban's Alabama as a dog. And that's underdog, not D-A-W-G. Hey, listen, 100% of the time, if I get a chance to pick Nick Saban's Alabama as an underdog, I'm going to take it 100% of the time. Done. That's it. Bama actually does well as dogs. Listen, Alabama just does well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they do. And it, it's, it's, it's hard. It, it's hard to pick Alabama. It, it is just like Ohio state. It's hard to pick against Ohio state on the spreads and all that. It, same thing with Alabama too. Like you, you'd be crazy not to when Saban is on the sidelines there. So I got, I got Alabama to cover. Um, I don't know who's going to win. Uh, would not surprise me either way, to be honest. George, like, are we going to see the Georgia that we've seen in many games where they just look like dog crap, or are we going to see the Georgia that we've seen recently that has looked at least? Um, Put up a yeah. um, good, good offense here. Did they, well, oh, here, here's the thing. They fixed the, the Georgia offense is rolling again. The, the problems that existed on the Georgia offense, I think they have worked out. Their defense, on the other hand. They were getting pushed up and down the field by Georgia Tech last week. 
They were like, I, I I've never seen a defense fall off so hard than from 2022 Georgia to 2023 Georgia. Now the question the becomes, point. does Alabama have the offense? Cause Alabama is the opposite. So the question because becomes, does Alabama have the offensive fire firepower to take advantage of that? And I think they do. Because if Georgia Tech has that firepower, then surely Alabama does. But are we going to see the kind of team Alabama that squeaked out that win against a really bad Auburn team just last weekend? But they won. Yeah, so has Georgia, but either way. Georgia Tech's worse uh, than Auburn. Well, I don't know if that's true. Uh, it's true. Yeah. It is true. But Some it's card. a low bar. Sun card says here, has Kirby shaken the Saban curse? Does one win over the old boss? Spikes, I agree. Forward? Does Saban have one last hoorah? I believe so. Bama wins and upsets Georgia. Oh, calling for the upset. I still think Georgia wins uh, for the record. I don't think I actually said that out loud. I think Georgia wins. Um, but I, again, I'm just never going to pass up on a chance to to pick Nick Saban as an underdog. Never going to do it. Not going to pass on that. All right. Next game here. Big 10 championship game, Michigan and Iowa. Michigan is a 23 and a half point favorite in this game. Too many points. I'll pick, I'll pick the Hawkeyes. Kyle, once again, you know, how I like to do all the analysis. Mm -hmm. I did none of that for this. Here, here's verbatim what I wrote down for this football game. Too many points. Fuck Michigan. I respect that. Yeah, I respect that. Yeah. All right. Sun card. I really Sound really logic. Dislike, Thank you, Spikes. I really, really dislike Michigan in white. In as nice as their home uniform is, their away uniform is terrible. Also, winged helmets are so 1950. Oh, wait. Is there a football game to discuss here? I guess the only question is, does Iowa's offense score any points? I hope at least Iowa shows all up all in black. I wouldn't be surprised if the final score was like 31 to nothing. Hair, hair balls win and cover. I mean, yeah, I mean, I am still picking Michigan to win this game. Uh, 23 and a half just does feel like a lot of points against the incredibly stout Iowa defense. Uh, so yeah, Iowa to cover, but Michigan, Michigan to win. Powder score is going to be like 24 to five, something like that. <laughs> yes, I, I will second that. It'll, it'll be 24 <laughs> to five. <laughs> All right, last game here, Louisville and Florida State. Uh, ACC championship game. Florida State is a two and a half point favorite. I'll take the Cardinals. I'll take the Cardinals. I, I think I think Louisville is just going to have too much offensive power here, and Florida State's going to going to struggle here. So I got I got Louisville. Kyle, I would have because I feel like we we've known this championship game for at least a couple weeks now right this has been locked in for a minute yeah. um mm -hmm. i would have agreed with you last week watching louisville lose to kentucky on the other hand has my confidence a bit shaken in the cardinals um so i think like the question becomes was louisville looking ahead or did they just like crumble under the pressure right um did they hold something back or are they running on empty? And then like on the Florida state side, it's like, can Rudemaker actually lead Florida state to the playoffs and do something in the playoffs? Um, but one of the things I I've learned over eight years, nine years now of college football playoffs I feel like you don't see in the playoff era, and, and I don't have actual numbers to back this up. 
I feel like we see very little chaos on this weekend, especially out of the Power Five conferences. I feel like we typically see very little chaos on this weekend. Um, so, which is bad news if you're Ohio State fans, obviously. And like, if you if you Florida State has to lose this game for if you're an Ohio State fan and you want to get into the playoffs, it just has to happen. Um, but I. Against against my better judgment, I'm I'm going to take and the, the point spread is only two and a half. So I'm just going to pick my winner here. Uh, I'm going to take Florida State. All right. Sun card here says, can we pause for a second and talk about how not good of a team Florida is? Yes. One of the powers of the mighty, mighty SEC East couldn't beat Florida State on its third string quarterback. Now we have to rely on Louisville, who just lost to Kentucky, to beat Florida State. Our pure hope for the Buckeyes and Muhammad Ali fandom, give me Louisville to win and cover. There you have it. And that is all of our games here, Jared. That is, unfortunately, all of our games. We actually got to do seven this week, which you only get to, you don't get to do too often. So that i mean it's hey it's nice to do seven games we don't need to talk about why we had to do seven games we don't need to talk about that part um army navy well that's that's next week and we're not going to do an entire sloop picks episode for army navy but i suppose we could i suppose we could talk about it anyone anyone have or do they have early lines could it have been oh, this for, week for that uh, following week? No, they, yeah. they always they, they always play Army Navy like a week after. Yeah, Army yeah. minus two and a half. Uh, I'm going to take Navy. All right, Give me two and a half points. Take little, Navy. I'm going to take Navy. Since we have a little bit of time here, conference, just just straight up. Um, well, actually, we, we can pick the line here. Conference USA championship game, New Mexico State and Liberty. Liberty right. is a for the record, none of these count. Nope, they don't. Just for fun. and and I'm totally unprepared for this. Huh? I know. Uh give me New Mexico Liberty State. Liberty is one of the last five undefeated teams, FYI. Yeah, but New Mexico State has been making waves lately. I think. They have been, haven't they? Didn't they, didn't they almost, or no, did they, they did beat someone really good, didn't they? Or somewhat Auburn. good, didn't Oh, uh, no, never mind. Not but they good, destroyed, but, but they destroyed Auburn. They destroyed Auburn, but, the, but this is a team who got destroyed by Liberty earlier in the season, lost to Hawaii and Massachusetts as well. You know, I'm, I'm going to change. I, I'm going to, I, I got Liberty to cover. <laughs> but what's, what's, what, cover that one. what's, what's the number? 10. How much? 10? Yeah. Liberty to win, New Mexico State to cover. Uh, Mountain West here, who's actually getting, well, actually, no, they're they're not joining the Mountain West. They're just playing Mountain West. They have a scheduling agreement. Yeah, just like Notre Dame does with the ACC. Basically, yeah. Boise State and UNLV. Boise is a two-point favorite. Um, I, I don't, I have, you know, have, you know, I have my policy about Nick Saban and how, if I if get a chance to bet Nick Saban as a dog, I always take it. I, I have a different philosophy. Never, ever bet money on UNLV. That's another yeah, philosophy okay. to write down. <laughs> Give me Boise. Yeah, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do UNLV. I'll, I'll do UNLV. <laughs> And then the, what and then are you last... thinking, Kyle? As if I I haven't watched basically no Mountain West football this year, but I'm going to be super opinionated about it for no reason. What the hell are you thinking, Kyle? Taking UNLV. Yeah. And the last one is the Sun Belt, Jared. Happy State and Troy. This is this is another one of those um, conferences where the better the Fun Belt, the better better team. Um, team with a better record 
Oh, yeah. So it's at Troy. the number one Troy seed. A, yeah. Troy is a six and a half point favorite. See this on card. Um, listen, I'm still, I'm still a little salty about the Michigan game. So give me Appy state. <laughs> uh, I, I feel, I feel that Troy is a really good offensive juggernaut. Uh, so I'll, I'll actually pick Troy. I'll pick Troy in this one. Can you be a pretty good offensive juggernaut? I, I think so. They have. A- no, I'm just saying, I feel like you're either pretty good or you're a juggernaut. Like, I feel like you can't, they, they, you can't be, got a quarterback you can't be got kind. A Kyle, this is purely English. I'm just saying, like, I don't feel like you can be kind of enormous. Right. Okay. Their quarterback has thrown 3,100 yards and they have a 1,300 yard rusher as well. Damn. Mm hmm. Kind of a doofus? No, that's that's our brand here, actually. <laughs> yes. Kind of a doofus is just what we do here. The James Franklin of juggernauts. Good, but not great. Those are all of the games that's happening this weekend. Or great, but not elite, rather. All right, those are... Uh, Kyle, we picked every single college football game today. We are overachievers. We are. I mean, hey, Kyle, you got you got any of those FCS schools? Let's lightning round the FCS games. I gotta I gotta find it here first. <laughs> um hold on. We can get this. We can do this. We can do this. Uh, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. I'm just trying to say I stuff. Division two and three. Why am I missing FCS? What am I missing, Jared? I don't know what you're missing. Um, Kyle. Okay, here we go. I got this. I got this. Richmond at Albany. There's no spread. Pick a winner. I'll do Albany. I'll go Richmond. They're the spiders. How do you not? How do you not pick spiders? <laughs> Youngstown State at Villanova. No spread. Got to pick the Ohio team. Go Penguins. The fighting Jim Trestles. Tennessee Chattanooga at Furman. Furman. I'm going Chattanooga. Um. Sacramento State, I figured it out, versus, I'm going to say that's South Dakota. It's an SD, maybe, I don't think it's, unless there's a San Diego that's not San Diego State. But I'm going to say South Dakota. Um, I'm going to go Sacramento State. Who do you got? Um... Well, there's no state after that, South Dakota. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, it, no, that's later. That's actually the next game. Okay. Um, you know, screw it. I'll, I'll still pick South Dakota. Okay. Mercer versus South Dakota State. There it is. Yes. I'm going to uh, guess South Dakota State's undefeated. I, I does, you just pick South Dakota State. They're, they're the Nick Saban of, of FCS. You just, you shut the fuck up and you pick Bama. The Jackrabbits, right? That is true. I believe we have a Jackrabbits fan in the Discord server, so he'll be happy uh, at the Jackrabbit uh, mention on the show. Okay, Kyle, North Dakota State versus Montana State, I believe. Oh, I think that's Montana State. Yeah. Yeah, Spike ooh, says yes. That, that's a good. That, that, that could be a good one. Um, no, 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 no. Yeah, you got to take the bison. You got to take bison. I'll take the bison in this one. Um, I mean, Montana Prairie... State's had some good had some good teams, but yeah, I also picked the bison. Uh, Prairie versus Florida A and M. Uh, 
Kyle, you're not supposed was to be thinking. Good this year. I want to say it was good this year. Probably. I'm going to say, I think, I think they've had some good teams in recent years. So I, uh, based purely on that, I'm going to agree with you. Um, Delaware versus Montana, the Grizz. The Grizz. Give, give me the Grizzlies. I'm, I, I, if what, if, if one of those teams aren't uh, in, no, that is, that is, uh, Grizz. Uh, I don't know. I think, I think DE is Delaware. Uh, I agree with you. Give me the Grizz. And that one says S I L. So I'm going to say Southern Illinois. I don't know. Yes. At so Idaho. Oh, I, I Spikes says I'm correct as well. Kyle, I'm choosing Spikes affirmations over yours. Potato. I believe that's. I believe that is uh, Zach's pick. Kyle, you got Southern Illinois, Southern Illinois or Idaho? The Vandals. I got the Vandals. Yeah, yeah. Give me the Vandals. Absolutely. Give me the Vandals. All right, Kyle. Now we've picked all of the college football games this weekend. All right. Such overachievers. We, we're the king overachievers of Ohio State podcasting. Don't ever let anyone tell you otherwise. We did it. And if anyone tells you we didn't do it, slap them in the face and call them a Michigan fan. Kyle, do you have anything? Kyle's, by the way, sorry, real quick. Merch plug. I'm wearing 7071 merch right now. This is from our comic book series. Uh, the bunch of Ohio cities done up like it's a comic book, uh, sort of done in a comic book style. Um, so it's like, you know, pretend like you're small. You know, there actually are some small towns in that collection. Pretend, pretend like, oh, is, you know, we're not going division two spikes. This has gone on long enough. Ask it. Kyle, um, Kurtztown versus Slippery Rock. Give me Slippery Rock. What? Spikes put Division 2 games in the chat. We're picking them now. It's just Slip Rock? How is it just Slip Rock? All right, cool. Cutstown versus Slip Rock. Uh, Cutstown is the third ranked team and Slip Rock is the fourth ranked team. In case you want a little bit of a, a tip. I think at this point, Jared, we might as well pick the Ohio High School State Championship. Don't That's tempt me. Team. Who's playing? I guarantee. I well, I know there's two. Kyle, uh, two, teams, two teams from the MAC that are in that are in the state championship game. Th That's not possible because MAC isn't in high school. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, it is. The a Mac different Mac in high school, a different Mac. A Mac in high school. And cool. They are Kyle, juggernauts. they are juggernauts. Your silence, your silence on the Cutstown versus Slip Rock game is deafening. <laughs> what are you hiding? I don't want to pick division two games. <laughs> I'll flip a fucking coin and pick either Slip Rock or Cutstown. Let's just do cuts town. I got slip rock. Um, Valadosta state versus Lenore Rhine. I guess I'll do Valdosta. I'm um, got Lenore Rhine grand Valley state versus Harding. No, I know Harding. We'll do Harding. I know Grand Valley State. Give me Grand Valley State. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say that is Central Washington uh, versus the Colorado Mines. They play that. They play their games underground. And by the way, that's not that's not their nickname. That's the school name. Colo Mines. Colorado School of Mines. 
they, 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 listen, there's a lot of mountains. There's a lot of mines. That's how, that's how that works. I got to I got to go with that one. <laughs> the Colorado school of mines, not and that is M I N E S. Just so everyone's very clear. It is not mimes. It is not mines. It is mines. Uh, I'll, I'll go with central Washington spikes. If you put division three in the chat, I'm timing you out. <laughs> go buy the t-shirts seven, zero, seven, one. Oh, Holy shit. Holy Zach there beat you to it. Oh, uh, Kyle, we're so far off the rails right now. Oh my gosh. Um, well, there, there's, there's some, Oh no. Um, UW, uh, Whitewater's still in it. Uh, never mind. <laughs> how many, how many division three games are left? Four. Uh, f- four games. It looks like four two games. games, right? No, I think it's two games. Cause I think that there's already winners on that bracket. So you know, no, we're, we're moving on, Kyle. We're moving on. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. T-shirts, 701, that all numerically, 7071.thesloopcast.com to go buy some cool Ohio-based merchandise. If you want some Sloopcast-specific stuff, go to merch.thesloopcast.com. And as always, come join our Discord server, discord.thesloopcast.com. Kyle, do you have anything in Kyle's corner? Um, Somewhat somewhat big news um amari amari little uh, amari abor uh is heading to the transfer portal when it opens up on monday per multiple reports uh speaking of the transfer portal kyle did you know and i know you do because we were talking about it before we hit record but for the sake of the podcast do you know that Indiana's starting offensive line, four of the five starting offensive linemen for Indiana have announced their intentions of entering the transfer portal. Seems like a lot. It's almost all, as a matter of fact. Statistically speaking, almost all. And one of them I hope becomes a Buckeye. Hmm. Left tackle Carter Smith is a uh, very big, very talented Ohio kid. It's time to come home. Time to come home, Carter Smith. That's all I'm saying. Right, that's it. The mothership is um, calling. It's not. It's time to come home. Buckeyes play Central Michigan and Minnesota in basketball. In the next few days. Awesome. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not in the basketball mindset yet, Kyle. I'm just, I'm not, I know. I'm not, I'm not there yet. All right, Kyle, that's the end of the show. That's the end of the show. Uh, go crew. Go crew. Yes. Uh, additionally, play, play, uh, Cincinnati. Go crew. All right. Tonight's, I mean, in, in, like, just for the record, fuck Cincinnati, right? I mean, the, the soccer team. The city has some fine people, I guess. I don't know. Um, listen, it's the worst beer city in the town, in the state. I'll say it. Fight me. Fight me about it. You won't. Um, yeah, that's it. That's the end of today's show. Tonight's ending music uh, brought to you by a band called Brat Curse. Uh, Brat Curse is a Columbus based band. So with all that being said, uh, and they're fun, like they're, they're a good listen. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to have to click the link down in the show notes to listen to the song. If you're listening to the podcast version of this, we do uh, put the song at the end of the show. But with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is Brat Curse. <laughs>